Hey guys, it's Make America Great Again here by Grabbing Her By The Pussy, and today we got a very nice story. Alleged Northwestern chapel vandals indicted on a dozen hate crime charges now. So this happened in March, and I chose this story in particular because I actually lived in Evanston, and Northwestern University is one of the uh, best schools in the country. It's not definitely like in the top 10, I think it's in the top 20 or something like that. But it's located in Evanston. Evanston's a very well-to-do neighborhood. It's absolutely beautiful there. It's above Chicago. And most of the people are very, very nice. Now, keep in mind, Evanston is a pretty liberal town. And me being a Trump supporter is a little bit strange sometimes. And uh, Chicago is a pretty liberal uh, place by itself. So sometimes, you know, you, you did have a couple rascals here and there. But mostly Evanston's a really nice neighborhood. And uh, there, there's a lot of churches. I think there's 11 or 12 churches. There's also, like, we lived uh, on a street right next to Church Street. So it, it was, you know, definitely, definitely kind of a religious place. And uh, you actually had a bunch of these cases where people were just vandalizing churches. And I found it quite strange. This happened quite often. And uh, also, you know, Evanston's a well-to-do neighborhood. Uh, the school's really good. You have to have a certain amount of money to go places. And, you, you know, it's not just like the average Joe Schmo who's uh, not doing anything with his life. And uh, sometimes it's very sad because his families are hardworking, but then you got the kids who are absolute rascals. And uh, these two guys were indicted on a dozen hate crime charges. So basically, one of them, it's actually quite strange, one of them is Jewish and his father uh, is uh, is a chief justice, I think, in a different state, uh, working in an appeals court. So there, it's a little bit interesting story. You know, the further you go into it, uh, Mr. Kafker here. Uh, but uh, two guys, Anthony Morales, 19, and Matthew Kafker, 18, were charged in connection with the vandalism. Uh, it was quite immediately after it was discovered, so it included uh, anything from, you know, uh, stealing to kind of damaging the churches, uh, institutional burglary, uh, and all of these things were felonies. So they spray painted a swastika, and you know it was, they made it seem like it was the Nazis that did it, and uh, they also uh, spray painted uh, penises and the word Trump. Uh, so uh, you know, you know, they they tried making it seem like Trump. This was a Trump support hate crime, like ah, the Nazis, yes. Which, by the way, just want to point out to the libtards here, uh, the Nazis and fascism is closer to Hillary Clinton because they were extreme left-wing, not right-wing. So I'm, I'm not quite sure what the fuck Nazis have to do with Trump. But uh, anyways, beyond that, yeah, these two guys were arrested and are probably looking at some jail time. But if their lawyers are really good, they're going to have to definitely pay a lot of fines. They're already out on a $5,000 bond. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be an ongoing case here. But uh, they're facing the, the worst ones are Class 2 felony charges here, which uh, they had four of those from uh, burglary to institutional vandalism. And uh, these are punishable from three to seven years for each charge. Uh, and then it's all stacked up on every one of them. So it's very interesting. By the way, just wanted to throw this in there. When I lived in Evanston, the police department, I love the police. Uh, I'm, I'm a great friends with the uh, Leos, and I think law enforcement officers are great people. Most of them are pretty good. Sometimes they get some bad hombres. Chicago definitely had some uh, corruption cases here and there. <laughs> I, can, I can certainly say that. Yeah, we, we also had some corruption uh, going on in the government. Uh, governors, uh, Mr. Rob Blagojevich. But anyways, getting a little off topic. So I love the law enforcement. Evanston Police Department are doing a great job. Uh, we had to call them, unfortunately, one time. Someone was trespassing on our property. Uh, they came in. They talked. We had a great time. Nice people. And uh, while living in Evanston, uh, I, I love fitness. And I'm also kind of the person that I need to work a lot. And I worked uh, sometimes, you know, 12 hours a day. I'm an entrepreneur, so I had to go outside to, you know, do some midnight runs here and there. Nah, sure, it might look a little bit sketchy. Some guy running late at night, you know, you, you can't really see him. So the cops would stop me here and there, but uh, of course, immediately they'd be like, oh, this isn't the guy. And uh, every single time they'd stop me, it would be something along the lines of, hey, uh, did you see this 40-year-old lady walking her dog? Or, hey, did you see these kids vandalizing a church? Or, are you the kid that vandalized the church? And I was like, what? What's going on? I've never been inside of any one of these churches. Like, I'm not quite sure what's going on. I live down the street over there. And then they'd explain, like, oh, you know, this this happens quite a bit. Like, these churches uh, go through uh, hell. I mean, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. But, yeah, I never, I never stepped foot inside of the churches. But sometimes I, I wondered, like, who the hell were these kids? But I guess it's the Northwestern students or... 
or people coming, the thugs coming from Chicago. I'm not quite sure. I mean, Evanston is a very nice neighborhood. Uh, they, they are keeping a good track of crime there, but uh, some, sometimes it's just a little saddening. Anyways, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, let's make America great again, and uh, fuck these two guys. All right, have a good one.